Bad things to hear at the psychiatrist's. I don't want you to think of me as a psychiatrist. I want you to think of me as a mental patient who killed the psychiatrist before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> you think you are a potato? On the couch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your first session of Freudian analysis. What seems to be the penis? <laughs> well, you say that you're paranoid, but I have a report here that says you looked very relaxed in the bath this morning. <laughs> Oh, yes. I can see why you fancy your mother. She's something of a fox. <laughs> I see you've tried to commit suicide five times. Your dad was right. You are useless. <laughs> you've been coming here for six months to talk about your trust issues. Well, we've been filming you for Britain's nuttiest bastards. <laughs> Yes, I think your parents caused you problems from a very early age, Clitorina. <laughs> your thoughts that you're horrifically unattractive are all in your mind, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, word association. I'm going to say a word and I want you to say the first thing that pops into your breasts. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's really interesting. Do you mind if I use some of this stuff as lyrics from my band? <laughs> <laughs> you have emotional problems and a below average IQ. I'm prescribing Hollyoaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a classic dream. It means you're a paedophile. <laughs> I want you to go to your happy place. Judging by the size of you, that's probably Greg's. <laughs> Hypnosis could certainly help with your intimacy issues. While you were unconscious, I rested my nuts on your head. 